It was not my plan to make a YouTube video tonight. Hare Krishna. But <clears throat> what happened was I stopped and I got a snack. Yeah, that's the snack right there. What it look like to you? Hmm? I'll give you a hint. It's a relative of sativa. It's citrus. It's a fruit. It grows in the pod. It's called tamarindo. Tamarind. Right there. I call it ancestral tamarind. Only because this tamarind got that little sweet West Indian kind of sugar in it. We got different grades of sugar. We got some sugar that is highly refined. Western style, European style sugar. I, and you know, sugar contributed in a large part to the slave trade. Because apparently, when the Europeans discovered the sugar cane in the New World, they got turned out off of sugar. It was like a drug. It was like how crystal meth is doing the interior part of the country right now. That's how sugar did to Europe and sugar did to Africa. You know what I'm saying? So both people became sufferers when sugar got out of control. Sugar's a nice thing when used in, in a balanced manner. But when it's out of control, it causes kids to run around and they form these new hypotheses and they call it ADHD and ADD. Man, that ain't nothing but an excess of sugar in their system. Everything's made of corn syrup right now. But yeah, this, this tamarind has that nice kind of sugar in it. That brown sugar, you know? That's what the Spanish people, they go, I think they call it canela? I'm not, I'm not sure, but it comes in a round, round brick. And if you hit somebody upside the head with that, they won't be having sweet dreams. So, with this sugar that they put inside this tamarind. So let's break down the word tamarind first of all. It's a citrus fruit. Tamarind comes from Arabic, tamar, which is dates, like dates that you use to break the fast with. I believe they have something called palm palm dates that are very, very, very unpopular in Middle Eastern cuisine and in the Middle, di uh, Middle Eastern diet. So they got this thing called dates, right? And like even in the Quran, there's a verse of the Quran where they like they talk about what tori sinin. You know, they, they talk about the olives, the um, zaytun, and the oils. And they talk about the dates, or tamar. So date is tamar. And because the Arabs coined the term Hind or Hindu, they call it tamar Hind or Indian dates. So why am I talking about Indian dates? First of all, tamarind is one of my favorite foods from long time, from childhood. Because you know, in Jamaica now, that stuff is in embedded in my genetic structure because we had tamarind trees on our land in Jamaica. I even saw, yo, tamarind tree. I'm going to tell you what it reminds you of. I made a YouTube video a few years ago about, it's, I think the name of the video was like, it looks like the tamarind tree. And what that tree was, was actually, let me see if I can remember the name. The lotus? No, locust. Yellow, lo golden locust tree. So you see these trees in New York, they got these flat pods, right? And it has real thin tropical style leaves. The blade, the leaves are more like little blades. And that's how a tamarind tree looks. Like, I think it's called locust, golden or yellow locust tree. And that, it, like the leaves are blades and the, the bark is very um distinguished. Looks just like the thing. But yeah, it's a sativa plant. But the reason why I wanted to bring up about tamarind you looked at it and you said, man, that look, stuff looked nasty. It looked like, you know, you know what it looked like. And when you look at the fruit itself, the fruit is shaped like doo-doo. That's right. It's, it's shaped like cocky, man, whatever you want to call it. That's what it's shaped like. But they have a saying that whatever fruit is shaped like or whatever a vegetable, whatever organ that it resembles, then it's good for that organ. So they say that yo, they say that tamarind is good for the intestines. 
And of course, it makes sense because it just looks like brown intestines when it's in the shell. Even when you take it out the shell, it looks even more crazy. But they also say that it's good for the nerves. And if you look at the tamarind fruit after you peel the shell off, you'll see something that looks just like, it looks like an embryonic nerve cell system. I really got to post up some pictures. That would have been nice if I would have had some raw tamarinds to show you the embryo of these nerves. It's funny because everything as above is so below. So whatever's going on in our body is also going on in nature. It's also going on in the universe. It's also going on in the underworld. As above, so below. So whatever's affecting us in the stars is affecting us on Earth. What is whatever's going on on Earth is affecting the stars. We just copy and mimic off of each other and of course the material universe is an imperfect replica of the spirit of life in the spiritual world so as you start off as a beautiful man or as a beautiful woman then eventually with time your beauty becomes corrupted because that's the nature in the material world the nature is always eating us in the form of time Krishna says that in the Bhagavad Gita I mentioned before if you look at a movie called Langoliers by Stephen King You'll see the whole science of how time is actually devouring your current reality. A very interesting movie, Langoliers. So, whenever you have these different fruits, for example, I could say cashews is good for, I think cashews is good for the sexual organs, if I'm not mistaken. But they got walnuts, good for the brain. And it looks like a brain. Matter of fact, let me keep walking up the hill. And it looks like a brain. Walnut looks like a brain. Right? So all of these different fruits and vegetables, the longer time that you spend in the natural section of the aisle, the longer you will live. I love to point this out all the time. That as you go in through the aisles of the supermarket, the food quality degrades till you get to the most degraded form of food. You get to dead rotting carcasses that have to be injected with dye to give it some kind of lifelike color because if you saw dead meat it just looked grayish brown it doesn't look appealing at all and then to add insult to injury they add a pure harmonious product to this dead meat aisle I'm talking about cow products milk cheese butter they mix it in with death because it's an insult first of all that commercially, the commercially produced milk and cheese products is not really the best quality. But to show you how they'll put something righteous and holy even in the midst of all of this death. Well, I just find it ironic, you know what I mean? Processed foods are in the middle aisles. You know, processed foods ain't good for you. But like I said, when you get to death, when you get to time to die, that's when it's time to go over to the meat section. You know, it's really crazy, but the psychology is there. Spend time in the first aisles because that's where all of your medicine is at. Like I said, even natural raw sugar is found in them first aisles at the supermarket. So take advantage of all of these things out there and do your research. I'm not going to go round for round, pound for pound, and tell you what cauliflower mean or what um, Brussels sprouts is good for. I do know this, though. Here's a home remedy that a lot of you will find useful especially you vegetarian people because what vegetarians like to do is replace starch for the meat so a lot of us are high starch eaters and that runs a risk factor where you see a lot of older vegetarian people are pretty much have problems with blood sugar so I'm gonna tell you a tried and true remedy for blood sugar there's an old school Jamaican remedy and I told a Jamaican about it and he did what I told him to say. And once again, I ain't Dr. Sebi. I don't know nothing, y'all. Nope, nope, nope. I just chant Hare Krishna. I don't know how to heal nothing. But I'll give y'all one little secret. So, <laughs> I know I sounded like a punk, right? Uh, but listen, man. You, you, you run away today, sometime you live to fight another day. <laughs> yeah, I know I sounded step and fetch it, but it ain't even like that. I'm just having a good time. I'm going to sit on the steps of this Catholic church because I've never done so. Mm. Yeah. So what happens with this remedy now is that you take, when you, when you make string beans and you know that water that's left over in there, you take that water and you drink it. 
and apparently that regulates your blood sugar, your insulin and everything. It gets it back to normal levels. Also, when you soak okra overnight, when you soak okra, I thought this was detectives rolling up on me like, man, just leave me alone, okay? I ain't, just leave me alone. Well, I'm good. Yeah. Yo, when you soak okra, you take that okra water and you drink that water, it'll automatically, it acts as its own insulin in your system. So I told homeboy to do it, you know what I'm saying? And he went to the doctor after he took my recommendations to drink string bean water and to drink the okra water. He went to the doctor and they say, yo, what's up, man? Like they were really shocked. You know what's funny with these doctors, right? They must be really brainwashed because Revelation says in the Greek version of Revelations, it's basically saying that pharmaceuticals in the Greek language, pharmaceuticals will run the planet in the last day. Peace, man. All right. So pharmaceuticals will run the world in the last days and time. When you translate it to English, it comes up to sorcery. So Christ was saying sorcery will run the world, but really we know it's pharmaceuticals. That's why these drugs are poisoning the whole society. You know, no matter how you look at it, these drugs is, is running amok. They're all draining through the drinking water now, all kind of female estrogen hormones and just mad crazy stuff, frankenfoods, you know? So, with all of the drugs in the system and everything, these doctors act like the only medicine out there is stuff that they created in the lab. To show you how evil it is, they'll cut down, they'll find the cures for, tr for, for different diseases, right? In the bark of trees or different plants in the jungle. And then they'll synthesize it in a lab. In other words, they'll make a man-made version and release that to the public. Then they'll go cut down all of the trees in the jungle that have that natural remedy. What's bothering me too, I hope they don't mess with ayahuasca, man, because a lot of people are using that as a gateway to higher consciousness. And I hope they leave that ayahuasca alone. But see, the thing about ayahuasca is that it's not a particular plant or a particular tree. It's actually a combination of three different plants. It's always a trinity. Three different plants that have specific properties. Okay. These doctors, they act so amazed when you come up with a natural remedy because they don't believe in nature. They don't believe in God. So they're amazed because they think in their education, because a lot of them are educated fools, that the only legitimate cures are cures that are recognized or deemed safe by the establishment. But when you have a lot of anti-establishment or, or sideways doctors or people who are um, not sideways, what's the word? Off the grid kind of doctors like Dr. Sebi, there's a documentary out, I think it's called Strive Movement or Thrive Movement, and it's talking about all of the healthcare and holistic practitioners that have been killed since about like 2016 or so. Like over 50 health and holistic doctors have been killed. So what we gotta do right now in this state of emergency, not only are they attacking black lives, and yes, black lives do matter, and I don't mean that in the sense of any organization or anything, I just mean Black lives do matter. My life matters. Every black person's life matters. Just like every white. Just like every Chinese. Just like every Spanish. Y'all might not deem us valuable. Y'all might not deem us necessary. But that's your concern. That's not my concern. I know what I got to do in this body. And that's that. Black lives do matter. We got so many healthcare practitioners that have been killed. It's up to you, the people, to preserve this information and to share it with the future generations. Once again, I wasn't planning to make no video tonight. I'm mad tired, as a matter of fact. I gotta get rest. But today's September 20th. Probably September, by now it's about um, September 21st, 921, 2016. A few days ago was 918, which were all multiples of the number nine. So a few days ago was a new beginning. 999. And here we are. Today is the day for the ancestors. They honored the ancestors in the Vedic rituals and the Vedic systems. So all of the beings that live out there in Pitra Loka, who are dependent on you for your blessings, they got those blessings, especially if you were engaged in transcendental service. Please preserve this information, holistic information. 
it's going to be up to us to pass it on to the next generations and preserve the trees, protect the cows, preserve the trees. Your medicine is sometimes right in front of your house and you don't know it. Hare Krishna.